Welcome to Stock Invest YouTube channel and this stock report for Amazon. The report was first published on our website January 11, 2022, but this is a more detailed version which also includes some fundamental data you need to know. In this 7 to 10 minute long video we give you the information you need to know about Amazon for the upcoming trading day on Wednesday 12th, like support and resistance levels, signals, chart analysis, price to earnings ratios, and possible trading levels. Make sure you watch the entire report so you don't miss out on some key information needed for your trading. Please remember to subscribe so we can continue to grow and give you these free videos. Make sure to hit like and notification bell so you will be first to know when we post a new video. Now just sit back, relax, listen and watch the screen as we will show you some interesting data as we move along with the report. In this section you will get some information about the current Amazon performance to better understand the where the stock is right now. In our systems, the Amazon stock currently holds a 0.278 score, and our system has ranked Amazon hold candidate since January 11, 2022. Over the next few days, we will see how this evaluation performs. In our daily updates for Amazon our last headline reads, Stronger Technical Forecast for Amazon Stock Price After Tuesday Trading. The Amazon stock price gained 2.4% on the last trading day, Tuesday, January 11, 2022, rising from $3,229.72 to $3,307.24. During the day the stock fluctuated 3.51% from a day low at $3,214.03 to a day high of $3,327. The price has fallen in 8 of the last 10 days and is down by minus 3.1% for this period. Volume fell on the last day by minus 1 million shares and in total, 3 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $10.30 billion. You should take into consideration that falling volume on higher prices causes divergence and may be an early warning about possible changes over the next couple of days. In the last 52 weeks, the highest price of the stock was $3,773.08 and the lowest price was $2,881. Right now the price is 12.35%, or $465.84, below 52-week high at $3,773.08, which also is all-time high for the stock. The Amazon Stock Trends, Predictions and Analyst Ratings Soon we will give you the analyst ratings for the stock, but first the trends. The stock is at the lower part of a wide and horizontal trend in the short term, and normally this may pose a good buying opportunity, though a breakdown through the bottom trend line at $3,228.85 will give a strong sell signal and a trend shift may be expected. The current 3-month trend indicates a possible minus 1.47% change over the next 3 months, with a possible return between minus 3.78% and 9.22%. The 12-month trend it indicates a 7.65% change over the next 12 months with a possible return between 7.35% and 26.11%. This equals a price between $3,550.32 and $4,170.88 after a year. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets on Tuesday, January 11, 2022 Morgan Stanley set target to $4,000 to $4,200. On Monday, January 3, 2022 Robert W. Baird set target to $4,000. On Monday, December 13, 2021 Cowan set target to $4,300 to $4,500. On Thursday, December 2, 2021 UBS Group set target to $4,700. On Thursday, December 2, 2021 Evercore ISI set target to $4,300. From analysts Amazon stock received a general strong buy rating. The analysts give P-E ratio a strong buy and price to book a strong buy rating. For the return on investment the analysts give the Amazon stock a neutral rating. In this section, we will give you some information about signals found for Amazon. We will start with the general picture before we move on some of the most famous indicators and signals that will give you a deeper and better understanding of the trading possibilities in the stock. There are mixed signals in the stock today. The Amazon stock holds a buy signal from the short-term moving average, at the same time, 
however, the long-term average holds a general sell signal. Since the long-term average is above the short-term average there is a general sell signal in the stock giving a more negative forecast for the stock. On further gains, the stock will meet resistance from the long-term moving average at $3,416.70. On a fall, the stock will find some support from the short-term average at $3,299.83. A breakup through the long-term average will give another buy signal, while a fall below the short-term average will add another sell signal and strengthen the general signal. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Monday, January 10, 2022, and so far it has risen 2.4%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Volume fell during the last trading day despite gaining prices. This causes a divergence between volume and price and it may be an early warning. The stock should be watched closely. Support, Risk and Stop Loss for Amazon Amazon finds support from accumulated volume at $3,287.14 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. In general the stock tends to have very controlled movements and with good liquidity the risk is considered very low in this stock. During the last day, the stock moved $112.97 between high and low, or 3.51%. For the last week the stock has had a daily average volatility of 2.48%. The stock has a beta of 1.06. This tells us that Amazon is 0.06 times more volatile than the market. Let us have a look at some fundamental data you should be aware of before we tell you some possible good trading levels for Amazon. The price to earnings ratio, P-E ratio, is the ratio for valuing a company that measures its current share price relative to its per share earnings. Amazon currently has a price earning ratio of 62.37. A high price to earnings ratio could mean that a company's stock is overvalued, or else that investors are expecting high growth rates in the future. Next upcoming earnings report for Q4 2021 is expected to be released Jan 31, 2022. The consensus among the analysts are $3.75. Here are some possible good day trading levels. On an upturn, Amazon meets first resistance at $3,372.43. If you do not hold Amazon shares you should wait for this level to be broken before placing your bet. If you already have the stock this is the level you may want to swing trade. On a downturn Amazon finds first level of support at $3,287.14 and this is a natural place to put your bet if the support holds with an expectation of a rebounce upwards. Other levels you should watch based on the famous Fibonacci model are Buy at $3,239.60 $3,212.94, $3,169.79. Sell at $3,325.91, $3,352.57, The average ratings combined from several analyst sources for Amazon is strong buy. Here are some of the latest insider trades. The five latest insides trades have been done by Solipsky Adam whom have bought and sold 173 shares or options in the company. Please go to our webpage at StockInvest US to find more details about the trades. Based on the 100 latest insides trades, we have calculated the insider power to be negative at a ratio of minus 92.698. In total, the insiders bought 8,430 and sold 248,310 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is $3,148.23, minus 4.81%. This stock has low daily movements and this gives low risk. There is a buy signal from a pivot bottom found one days ago. Is Amazon stock a buy? Amazon holds several positive signals, but we still don't find these to be enough for a buy candidate. At the current level, it should be considered as a hold candidate, 
hold or accumulate, in this position whilst awaiting further development. We have upgraded our analysis conclusion for this stock since the last evaluation from a sell to a hold slash accumulate candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For the trading on Wednesday 12th we expect Amazon to open down negative $24.48 and start trading at $3,282.76. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. That's the end of this video, thanks for watching. Leave a comment if you have any questions and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.